Um, I, uh, I'm really nervous. This is my first talk since before the pandemic, so in person. Um, so bear with me. Um, my name is Sarah. I'm a member of the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration, and I'm here to tell you about how we managed to make an image of a black hole. Uh, you're probably familiar with our famous image uh, from 2019. This image here, this is the image of the black hole in the galaxy M87. It's 55 million light years away from us. And I want to tell you a little bit about our journey to get to this image, what we've learned since then about this black hole, because we've had results last year that came out uh, about this black hole, and also the role that software development actually plays in big science like our project. Hello, my name is E. Uh, I'm the Director of Infrastructure for the Python Software Foundation, and I'm actually really uh, glad to have run across uh, you and uh, to share uh, a little bit of what we talked about with just how grateful the Python Software Foundation is for the work that PyCon Japan is doing in Japan, and even more grateful for the donations to the PSF. Um, like It's incredible, and uh, we are really happy to recognize it, and uh, really happy to have uh, some of y'all uh, in attendance here at PyCon. We started going at 50 bucks a month a few years ago, and then that find out in the public and the owners have to do something. You're like, no, I don't know what you're doing. Once I saw your name, I didn't know your face, but. <laughs> yeah, because we have, I mean, we do have a lot of them. Very generous people. Hello, Japanese Python uh, My name is Kojo Idrisa. Uh, I am a uh, software developer, mostly working in Django here in the U.S. I, uh, I am also one of the organizers for DjangoCon U.S., which is a you know, conference here. Um, and I am the North American ambassador for DEFNA, the Django Event Foundation in North America. That's the nonprofit that puts, in, that puts on uh, DjangoCon U.S. Um, I've also visited Japan a number of times, so hopefully I'll get a chance to come and come to PyCon uh, Japan uh, one day. So. Konnichiwa, Namai Jadis, Doitashi Mashite. I lived in Japan for three years and I was in Okinawa uh, with the military and I fell in love with the culture and the community. And after I moved back to the US, I got into Python and fell in love with the culture and the community. So I hope that the same, combining those two with PyCon Japan, I would also fall in love with that culture and community as well. Uh, I wish you the best of luck in these times and I uh, hope that I get to come and visit again sometime. Konnichiwa, PyCon Japan. Uh, this is uh, Paul Gansel. I'm a C Python core developer. I work on uh, date times and zone info. I thought I would hit you with uh, some interesting Japanese time zone history fact. Um, you may think that your time zone is great because it's a fixed time zone offset and you don't have daylight saving time and it's been that way since. Uh, since forever, uh, but I think uh, maybe just after the war, um, there was some pressure from the US to implement daylight saving time. And uh, interestingly, it has somewhat recently caused some problems, well, not problems, but controversy in the, uh, in the time zone database because uh, in, the, in the official uh, pronouncement, the, when they switched over to daylight saving time or back, it happened, all right, so uh, when the, uh, when they when they switched away from daytime uh, daylight saving time or back, the official pronouncement said that it happened at 2500, which is common format for you. But uh, over here, we had previously uh, restricted the times to being between uh, zero and 24. So this required the time zone database format to allow transitions to happen outside of the 24-hour format. And so uh, this was officially allowed by the spec, but a lot of time zone processors did not allow this. So uh, so it caused a little bit of controversy, uh, but don't worry, the, your, uh, your your official pronouncement of, of 2500 is the official uh, entry into the time zone database. So that's a little bit of time zone history. I hope you enjoyed it. Hello, fellow Pythonistas in Japan. Uh, I'm Anthony Shaw, uh, and I'm here at PyCon US. Uh, I'm giving a talk later today on writing faster Python, um, which will be up on YouTube uh, shortly afterwards, or if you're attending the conference virtually, um, you can see it later. Um, yeah, this is my sixth PyCon uh, US. Uh, the last two have been virtual. Uh, love to attend PyCon Japan in October, but 
I don't think I'm going to be able to come because there's still travel restrictions. But I'm crossing my fingers that that changes uh, by October so I can come and visit everybody and say hello. Um, so yeah, love all the work you're doing with PyCon, uh, PyCon JP TV. I watch the YouTube series, um, I follow a lot of the talks and stuff that you do and also the online conferences uh, have been fantastic. So please keep doing what you're doing and definitely the international Python community recognises all your hard work and dedication. I'm going to kick this evening off now. I'm going to start with some thank yous first. Um, this evening is uh, possible by a massive team of volunteers and staff from the PSF. You see a couple of us up here every year, but I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize all of the people behind the scenes who helped make this happen. From the Pi Ladies, Lynn Ruth, Lorena. Our PSF chair, what happens to be Lorena? Okay.